Welcome back everyone. Isn't that a lovely sight to see every day? Seeing the water frontage all the time? But anyway, that's not what we're here for. Not to look at water. I'm actually heading tomorrow to the scrapyard. I've actually been busy today, loading up. It's late in the afternoon, so I'll be heading off in the morning. Getting over there and uh, yeah, I'll sh flip the camera around and I'll show you what we got. So, on the trailer, we've got motors in a crate right there. It's underneath this piece of steel. There's motors in underneath there. Um, it's only a small amount. I thought I'll just take them over, um, get rid of them. I did purchase, underneath all of this, I did purchase what, during the week a whole heap of batteries. As you may be able to see through the cage there they're, they're about halfway back of the trailer so i've got to try and make my money back on those um we've got a lot of steel on top with that will be going as uh, pressing steel um, i've been busy also today cutting up fridge motors these ones here getting uh making trying to make the load i didn't quite have a load uh june's been doing uh, a lot of copper as you might see over here, I'll give this a gander. Oh, she might have emptied it out. Yeah, she emptied it out. But so far in our copper, we've got this. About three quarters full of the bin, wheelie bin. What are they, about a 205 litre? I think they are. But anyway, we've also got the ute itself. We have three IBC pots. Call me crazy. Call me silly, whatever. But I reckon, this is just me, I reckon I'm overloaded again. Especially with the trailer. I'm looking at the trailer wheels and they are squatty. Very squatty, squatty. Like, it's on the wall. I'm talking really on the wall. So I'm estimating over the three ton. As you, <laughs> That's very, very squatty. And I've got them on 50 PSI already. So we have a fair bit on here. Um, I reckon she's definitely over the 3.5. But never mind. I certainly know how to stack it. That's all it is. Let's hope we don't come into grief getting there. And uh, yeah, but anyway, talking about getting into grief, I've also got to get a brand new battery for the white ute. She just don't want to start. She turn the key and go nowhere. I've tried charging it and that sort of thing with a with a trickle charge, boost charge, all that sort of thing. No go, so I'll be getting a new battery while I'm over there. Um, like the vehicle itself is nearly 20 year old. So it's doing pretty damn well. It's an 06 model, Nissan Navara, D22 motor. All we've had problems with is the EGR pipe around the back. So it hasn't really majorly had problems. It's been a good vehicle, this one. So, but anyway, um, if you want to put a comment on how much we've actually got in total with when we go over the way bridge, I may, I don't know um, whether I get time to take the crane off that, because uh, that's about an extra 100 kilos or more there. Probably, probably won't get time because I've got to manoeuvre it around and I've got to work out how I'm going to get it off. But I did do something to make my life a lot easier here to load the IBC pods. I'll just show you quickly. I got two with the one of the, well, this one was the electric pallet jack. Got two, pulled all the wheels out from underneath it. That went through as a scrap run. Oh, I don't know whether it was the last one or the one before that. I can't remember now. Um, welded a couple of plates on it down there. One top and one bottom, put a bolt through it, both sides, all right, and then put a eye bolt on the top, chain there. I got myself a forklift because of the backhoe itself has a bucket. You can lift it up and down, up and down. I tell you what, made life easy loading those pods on. So she's been a bit wet around here in the last day or so, made a bit of a mess, but anyway. I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning anyway.
the next day. Out with the old, in with the new. Still got the motor running. Being a diesel, I thought it wouldn't hurt. So let's put this in. Swap the case over. Put that onto that. That off there, onto there. We'll be putting that in the trail. Not even showing up a green light in there, so. Yeah, she definitely buggered. This one's got the green light in there. That's the end. Clamp it down. A little bit of a. I haven't got thermal on yet. Clamp it down first, I'll just. Got some room. Oh, it's got the post down. Got the negative on. Gonna connect the positive. Connect positive. Oh dear. That looks pretty good to me. We'll do that up. Got to get the other post down there yet. Got it all snug down. Nice and tight. Negative sun. Just got to do the terminal here. Change this around and do this more one handed. Oof. Should have thought of this earlier. Oh, I can't turn that. Put it on there. Mug it down. Doesn't need to be real tight. Just enough so the battery don't move. Got to do the other side too. At least I was able to do that without turning the motor off. That's that side. Does it move? No, she don't move. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's sweet as. Right, I'll put this in the trailer. Oh dear. Parked in the parking bay. Oh dear. Let's see, where are we going to put this? Where the hell are we going to put this? Oh, we might just put it up here. Put it over here. Sit it there. Should be safe. That'll add to the rest of the batteries. Let's get to the scrapyard. Emix Integrated Mental Management. Yeah, we're back here again. Go right around to the way bridge. See what it weighs and what it's gonna pay for the day. Especially our batteries and motors. Gotta come out as a profit with our batteries. Well, we added one, so that's a freebie. Well, technically, no, $230. But anyway, go and find out what we weigh in total. So we know we've got to do the pressing steel first. Unloading in here. Ooh, 6.24 ton. Alright, got the vehicle all sorted. Just needs a forklift for that. Get the trailer sorted now. As far as I know, they're going to bring a pallet. That's what I suggested to them. Bring a pallet over so I can load some of these washing machine that I've got uh, all the shells that I've got washing machine shells that I've got steel in them ah, that's unhooked keep pulling keep pulling hope it doesn't get caught yeah, it's right there that's good and if they don't well I'll just manhandle it myself up here some of it I can manhandle 
they need the trailer disconnected so they can get that back pod anyway. Yeah, start unloading. Got some brake drums to pick up on the way home. I think there's about five. Five, maybe a few more than five, I don't know. Won't know until I get there. I should have backed up there. Doesn't matter, they always like me to park like that. I might have a, uh, may, I'm not saying I will. I may have another scrap run just for a roof. For um, sheet iron like that. That there, it's out of the road. Yeah, I should have backed up there. Never mind. Yeah. Hot water system out of a caravan. Let's see the trailer come up. <laughs> Batteries are up the front, which is a good thing. Undo this tailboard. Hmm, that one's the heavy one. This is heavy too. Brake, brake pads in this one. Fill a hole. This is going to be interesting to get off. It's attacking me. I kept a couple of these. Made good use of them actually. Good bits of steel in them. Just think I load all of this on by hand. The different story as you've seen at the beginning of the video. Made up a type of a forklift type of thing. That's best to be chucked on a pallet. If I can drag it out, damn there's a lot of weight in that. We might have to unload some of it. That's even heavy. Get rid of the chair. That. Good at aim. Probably not that good. Let's get rid of some of this heavy stuff. We've been busy pulling copper apart, as I explained. You got a fair bit of weight in those. There's a lot of weight in that. Oh, we can move it. We can move that one. Oh, street. I don't want to cut myself. Bend that down. That's the 
Geo, where's the pallet now? This is what I was talking about. Get the pallet and put it on. It's still waiting. Leave that sitting there. Knife. It's gone. Yep, I can move that now. I must have unjammed it. It's truth. Get a bit more off. Need a pallet. I wasn't waiting. I just put it on the ground. They got the squeezy on the on the um, forklift. I couldn't think of the name of it there. Sit that into there. This off the batteries. Don't you fall on me. Geez, there was an empty one. Didn't realise that. Could have filled that. Sit this on top of that. It's not that heavy, this one. Ah, this one here. Don't know. Deal with this one. Not too bad, mate. As yourself. Whew. Hey, YouTube, mate. YouTube. Did load it with salt. No, mate, nah. Scrapper. Might be easy just to squeeze them. You left the hole. And now it is. It wasn't. <laughs> I'll pick that up. Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, can't go down there. Can't go down there. I'll, have to say, I'll, I'll walk it over. Where you go. Where's he going? Over here. If I'd known I could have put it over here, I would have put it here. That one should be right. Ouch, that's a battery.
You got it. That's got a proper bottom in that one. Pick that up so we don't spill some acid. We already did. Not sure. I might get him to squeeze his take it off here. You'll be able to squeeze that, will you? Sweet. Try and get this off now. Shouldn't be hard. Hope. Oh. There goes the battery. Oh, we don't want that for them. Damn that up. We don't want that falling. I don't pay for sticks. Oh yes. Oh, get that there. Then we got this behind me. Do that. Yeah, I'll just wait him out. Oh yeah, that's why it is. Quicker to take the forklift over, save you walking. Oh. <laughs> I'll just put it on the pad. Hi? Yeah, I know, I know. You can't tell them. Bit of stuff, this. I'm going to have to end for that. End for end. Get it up on the pad. A lot of people don't know the rules and regs here. I learnt that the first day I come here. It's up on the concrete slab. It's a lot easier to grab. That's what it's about. Get out of there. It's up there. One sheet to go. Then he's only got to take that off. Then we'll drag our batteries back. Sort out what other steel we've got left in here. Oh, look at that. That made it easy. Big and clumsy, this stuff. That's what I mean by clumsy. It was a shed. That's good enough for me. Well, 
there you go. Found out a bit of information about these. I um, can put them in with motors because there's copper in it. Got the other two already there. We actually thought you were going to no, no, I looked at the weather and thought, no, I'm not going Thursday, Friday, no, I'll come today. <laughs> it would have been too mucky. <laughs> I tried to time it right for you, because that way there's no dusts. No. Down, 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 in there. And pick up. And you'll reassess it on the ground anyway. Right. Whip this band-aid off, it's a pun of butt. We'll give him a band-aid. I've got a cut on the thumb. Oh, where's my gloves? Not that I need them. Ah, uh, don't need strap, we can put the strap away. I didn't get a chance to take the crane off. It got too dark. That one in there, we won't need that one, but we'll need the other one. Oh, I'd better put that in there. That's the other half of that motor. Well, that's what they're classing it as motor, because there's more steel than copper. Um, that's the way I've been explained to it. I asked if there was a different category for it. Apparently not. So if you do get your center status as a copper and steel, they can go as motors. Bit of an insight for everyone. Something I've learnt today which is good. He's a bit out of room over there. Bit of a bog hole too. Where's he going? Going right there. Jeez, I wouldn't mind one of those bins. Got good cast casters on it. It's not gonna tip out on him. Oh, there we go. Half on the ground. Better go and pick that up. Ah, yeah, stripped some computers too. Oh, that the only bit we lost? Yeah, I'll pick those two pieces up. He should have put that up there, or well, I might do. Not my job, but I'll do it anyway. He's got to unload those. Ah? Huh? It's only a chair. Come down, I'll get it off for you. There you go. Get a job here. <laughs> nah, I'm right. I'm happy where I am. Here I am where the movie started. Fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids are always crying. I've been thinking about all the captains. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Done. Steel did we bring in? That's me off. 3.8. Time to unload the batteries. Better see what he's doing inside first. Got to put these on a pallet. What's he doing? Oh, he's got the pallet tearing it out. Probably, I don't know. <coughs> Did you want to tear it out first? Yeah, I just put it down on it. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet as. They're always 20 kilos.
How's that? Popping down there. Oh, Struta. I'll bring them out and you stack them. How's that? You stack them the way you want them. Got some big boys coming. Yeah, Odd shaped bloody things. <laughs> you wouldn't think that had that much weight, would you? <laughs> you look at it, oh yeah, that'd be lighter than the rest. No. Got another big boy coming. Yep. Got some weight in those bloody things. <laughs> at least 70, 80 kilos just in one hose. <laughs> Don't need to go to the gym, do you? Yeah. Not while you work here. Wherever. Yeah, I was going to put it there. If I could. Oh, they're bringing another three cars as well today. Oh, you're kidding. They better have all the aluminium out of it. Well, apparently they've got rooms as well. Oh. Stuff. Yeah, he asked me. He says, What's the camera for? He said, and then he turned around straight away and said, Oh, YouTube. I said, Yeah, mate. He said, He looked me up. If he does, he does. <laughs> People walk away from me and they forget what the channel is. <laughs> you might get. Full pallet out of this. Sit him in there, eh? Little ones. Yep. I've only got these big ones left. Where's the handle for that? I'll just sit these up here. I'm going to sort them out in the shed then. That's it. Alright, we're going to take 20 kilos off of the pallet. Zero at the moment. Oh, there's over. Yeah, better get the forklift out. <laughs> 957 kilos. Right, yeah, before we get home, I've done a detour. I got a bit extra. 
got some insides. Now how am I supposed to get past there? Oh, I'd done that a bit wrong. Backed up a bit close, didn't it? No, oh, we'll do it. You Harvey Norman Pepper, got a dishwasher. Push these up. Get them right up the front, put the other electrics at the back. Now, yeah, went to another town and picked them up. Got more work ahead of me by the sounds of it. From the same location. This is a fair old drive. Did it inside. Don't mind. He said, oh, I'll throw these lights in. For a bit extra. So, yeah. Got more work coming from that place. There you go there. That front tail board's open. What have we got? Six, seven of them? Bit of insides. lights and get the ballasts out of them. Oh, what do we got here? Just down here. Won't close. Okay. I've been here all weekend I reckon. this one apart and get, get some parts out of it at least. I don't usually do fixed dishwashers. I usually just pull them apart. Scrap metal. That's what I do with those. Washing machines, different story. First thing I check for is this drum. Drum feels good. Looks a bit dirty on top. Cord hasn't been cut, as far as I can see. No, sweet. Might be a goer. Ooh, get the hoses off. There we go. Sometimes they're a bit hard. And you can't get them off. Sometimes you just got to know how. <sighs> Stuff them inside. Not that I need them, a whole heap sitting at home already. I bought one. Alright, how we going mate? Not too bad, Sal. Hello there. Um, yes mate? You missed a phone call um, last week sometime. Uh, I know who it was from too. Jamie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to let you know. Yeah, no, I actually messaged him and um, yeah, he's over in Leeton now. Yeah, over at Mitre 10. Yeah, yeah, no, I picked that stuff up. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all fine. Already done that job. Sweet. Done and dusted. You got no more of this crap? Uh, not at the moment. Oh, that's alright. I just thought oh, I was coming back through bloody town. I thought I'll pick it up anyway if there's any. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. I call it crap to them. <laughs> Only because they think they that I'm scrapping it out. Uh, now, go that corner and up. 
grab that corner on there. Move it around a bit. We're up. How's that? Oh, nice and clean. Probably got some sort of water problem. Got to go and fix the washing machine this afternoon too. We might strap those in. Don't know. I'm a pretty careful driver. I think it'll be fine. Right. That's about it for that. What's in there, electrics? We'll have a look. Nothing. Hasn't changed. Not a red razoo. Printers, printers, printers. No, not even a cord. Wacky dude. Hmm. Well, we've got a washing machine. And a dishwasher. What got it? What got it go? What's the matter? You got something on your foot? You haven't? Eh? Mrs. Garfield. Choice to speak to me all the time. But anyway. We'd had a fairly good day out there. Got a wash machine, a few brake drums on the way home. Now also getting down to the motor centre and what I took over for that, it was supposed to go really as like a fridge compressor. That's what they usually put them in as. But he let it go as a motor. Now, not usually I did state that um, it'd go as a motor, but usually they go as fridge compressors. But anyway, we'll get down to the formalities, what we got, what we didn't get. Um, so totally, we got, for pressing steel, we took in 3.8, no, that wasn't 3.8, it was 2.42 ton, which is 2,400. 20 kilos so it was 28.5 cents a kilo uh so we got a total of cameras not working here 689.70 uh then we had batteries automotive we had 20 kilos for the pallet as you know uh that was 957 kilos oh, actually 937 kilos because it's 20 kilo of the pallet 69 cents a kilo for batteries pretty damn good and we got a total of 646 dollars and 53 cents now that brings it down to a total what else did we take in oh the motors that's right uh so it says stators alternators electric motors that was 64 kilos a uh, dollar and seven cents a kilo now they're usually only about 56 cents a kilo for it, uh, fridge compressors and stuff like that but that's the price i got on for that for the day and uh we, so we're coming out with 68 dollars and 48 cents grand total without the what without the waste levy 1312 dollars and 75 cents now you got to think of gst 109 dollars 119 dollars and 35 cents so that come out too but anyway so that's not too bad you know go over there take batteries over take pressing steel i don't mind taking the pressing steel over um it pays for fuel and that sort of thing like i only spend roughly i think it's about 80 to 90 dollars for the fuel that's in a round trip so that's pretty damn good i think i'm getting fully loaded and then unloaded i think i'm getting around the ooh, probably 11 liters to the 100 so that's not too bad for a thirsty girl like that. Ah, it is going on, 20 year old. But anyway, coming home with 1300 bucks, all in total, that's not too bad, I don't mind that. So that's why I don't mind paying out the fuel. It's a day away from where we are here. Um, June doesn't come with me. I'm hoping, crossing fingers, I haven't asked her, that she may be able to come with the next one. It is getting a bit slow where we are here. It's sort of calmed down. We're not getting the ski boats like we were during the summer and that sort of thing. So 
she may want to come along with me, but then again, it's a day away. We might be able to go do a bit of shopping too. But anyway, um, if you've come this far and enjoyed tagging along, me gisbe, gi, gibby gabbing on God knows what, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you do smash the like button, don't forget to also, while you're at it, smash the like buttons and all that sort of thing. If you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Just don't hit it too hard. You might break your screen. So till next time, everyone, happy dump driving, happy scrapping, and happy recycling too. So till next one, cheerio.